Hi everybody. So I want to compare three degrees today and these are big degrees that people go for when they want to do something in tech. Now, before I do, if you could like this video, it really helps me out. If you like this channel, please subscribe. Okay, so let's go on to it. There's information systems, information technology, and computer science. Now, computer science is the more um, classic degree is the way I would put it. So a lot of people going way back, if they wanted to get into technology, they would do something in computer science. However, it differs a little bit from the other two degrees in that it does require a very high level math. And that's where the degree itself has been a little bit, um, it's a little different than what it was originally intended to be. So computer science, as the degree says, was meant to be a science because it's right in the degree. When I say a science, I mean, Basically, they were thinking you would be doing research and writing research papers. Now, there are people with computer science degrees that actually do this, right? That write research papers. But most people are going to be some kind of software developer or software engineer, and nothing wrong with that. But I guess what really matters is in practicality, that is where the degree is going to get you. So information technology, is a, a bit newer of a degree and it doesn't require as high level math although it does require some high level math and some of the high level computer science type math like discrete mathematics that's uh information technology is the degree that i did for my bachelor's and uh you know i knew a lot of people that did computer science but i did information technology just so you know where i'm coming from now, the third degree is information systems. And while I haven't done information systems, I am doing a master's in information systems engineering. Now, as to where the engineering changes it, I'm not really sure just yet. So far, it does seem like just plain information systems. So an information systems degree is even less on the math side that I don't think most, most of these degrees actually require um, as high level math to say as the information technology degree, although at some uh, universities it could be somewhat similar. So an information system is a, is a little bit more focused on uh, management, where information technology has some management. An information systems degree uh, has, I would say, almost mostly management. When I, when I say management, that doesn't mean that you're just like half a business degree, that's not really true. That really comes into when you're dealing with technology and you're working on building a technical system, there is a special kind of management that comes with that. And that involves actually being able to understand and construct said system. So it's not just teaching you to be a boss of software developers. It's teaching you like, how do you actually construct a system as large as this on a higher level? People are involved in every system. And you know, from users to stakeholders in the system, you'll be much better at managing that type of thing with an information systems degree than the other two degrees. So let's go all the way back to computer science. In computer science, regardless of what it was meant to do, computer science is going to do a lot of programming. You're going to do a lot of programming if you do a computer science degree. Just keep that in mind. If you don't like programming, that's probably not the degree for you to choose. It's pretty much all the way on the other side. You're also gonna to have to do a lot of high level math and most of what you learn is going to be purely technical and sometimes to go as far as theoretical. You will have a hard focus on programming and a hard focus on higher level algorithms, many of which as a developer you may never use but you will understand programming probably better than any other degree on this list, just as a concept. So if we go to an information technology degree, you're still doing a lot of programming, but it may be at a bit more of a level where you're using it practically. You will still have to understand computer algorithms, but not at, at as high of a level as a computer science student will. An information technology degree student will write a program that communicates with the database on a network to store data and allow users to sign up for a website, where a computer science major would more take a bunch of data and write an algorithm that can sort it more quickly, or just use one that's already existing, but some of them are quite complex. Now, in information technology, yeah, you still have to learn the sorting algorithms, but you're just not gonna spend as much time on them. Now, 
In information technology, what you'll also do is work with other technologies that are not necessarily all about programming. Things like networks, uh, databases, and you know, it goes on and on. Basically, programming is always touching on these things. If you're using some type of software, like say a MySQL database, you didn't write that, but there's still gonna be code surrounding it. Most likely you're going to code something that interacts with it. And so, you know, as a computer science student, although it's possible you'll do something like that, you're not going to focus on it quite as much. Uh, another thing I can say is in computer science, you are more likely to work with lower level programming languages like C, uh, even older ones like Haskell. And as an information technology major, if a programming language doesn't have a practical purpose, you're not as likely to spend as much time on it. Although I did still spend a decent amount of time on C. C does have a practical purpose, although it's not the most practical language out there today. It's still practical and that was more to build those concepts alongside computer science majors. As we diverged, we kind of went to Java, which computer science majors also do. That is a practical programming language. But the computer science majors would do older languages like Haskell and Really, that's not used that much. You know, I believe they also did things like COBOL. We didn't really do that because that's not as practical of a language today unless you're working for a company that's really behind the times. So instead, we would go to more like JavaScript, right? PHP, stuff that can be used in networked or web development. And it's also, you know, languages that are just more often used today. Web languages are a huge piece of you know what programming is today for better or for worse so there is that that you're going to go a little more to the practical side with information technology and there will be a touch of management and design of a system now in order to demonstrate this you're likely as an information technology major actually going to build the system where if we move over a little to information systems, you're gonna spend more time focusing on actually designing the system, writing up documents, explaining that design, you know, kind of proving things and, and justifying things that would need to be justified if you're gonna get that much money to build this system that we think we need. Project management is a bigger focus of an information systems degree than it is an information technology degree. Now, if we go back over to computer science, in computer science, you may, I doubt you're even going to talk about project management. There may be a computer science degree out there, uh, especially if it's not a bachelor's of science. I'm really talking uh, about the bachelor's of science in most cases. Um, I really doubt computer science majors are gonna be spending hardly any time at all, if any, on project management. Now, you maybe would uh, do something where di diagramming something comes in, right? Where you draw a diagram, especially uh, for lower level concepts, which is kind of where it diverges. But information systems is all the way on the other side. Now, information systems, as far as how much tech technical stuff are you actually going to do, from what I've seen, this really does differ based on the specific school, you know, where you're taking the degree. Some, uh, I know they all, almost all teach you how to program at some level, but maybe some don't. I would, I could see it as very possible that some don't. I think it's important that they do if you, you know, I, I do personally as someone who works as a software developer, I like the idea that my manager has experience uh, programming, at least just a little bit. Right? So I do know that in general, the languages chosen in information systems tend to be a bit more uh, practical uh, languages and you will not have a whole ton of classes where you're programming like what you will in IT and even more so in computer science. It's gonna be more of a side thing where you'll have more of a focus on planning and management. So basically you've got, you know, over here you've got computer science. Computer science is almost all technical, very theoretical, uh, not quite as practical, but very focused on programming and computers uh, kind of in the logical sense and not much more, which is not to say it's not practical as a degree. You can very easily get a job as a computer science uh, major uh, and a graduate with that degree. It's it's uh, one of the better degrees for that. But you will be very focused on the concept of programming and actually carrying out those concepts. Very technical, but not as related to practical things, although you will definitely hit on a lot of practical things. Uh, information technology, kind of, it's in between all the degrees. It's kind of in the middle where 
you are doing a little bit of management, you are doing uh, programming, but you're not like really focusing on programming and management is, is there, it, it's not there in computer science, but it is there a little bit in um, information technology. Also the uh, programming and technical skills you learn are generally not as focused on theory or concept. They are more focused on how to make something that works and you know here's these different technologies, here's how to program with these languages, actually make something that someone would use in real life. You know, uh, it's something that you could do in a job. So information systems is all the way on the other side where it is a decent amount more about management. It's, it's got quite a bit of focus on management and it does have um, some technical stuff. When they do, they're not uh, generally uh, conceptual, they're more practical. Like what does this kind of system do? What does a database do? How does it need to interact with a web server? That kind of thing. And you're less likely to worry about the technicalities of how to make the web server work with the database. And you're going to be more worried about actually designing a system that makes that work and the management of the entire process. So I guess what I would say is if you want to go into management information system, it's probably the choice for you. If that is your end goal to be in management, I would choose information systems hand down. Uh, on the other hand, if you want to go into IT in some way, you want to be technical, but you really you maybe don't want programming to be your 100% focus. Uh, maybe you just don't want to do the math in computer science. Uh, then information technology might be a good choice for you. And it's kind of a middle ground, right? Where you are going to get some of those uh, practical skills and maybe a little bit of managerial stuff, but really not much. So you're, you're kind of setting yourself up to be technical, at least at first in your career, but it's going to be more practical is the idea. It's, it's a, a more practical approach to doing it. Now, if you uh, want to go into development, software development, uh, you want to code, you want to write code all day, that's all you care about. If, if there's something going on with the network, you'll talk to the network guy. You want to work on a big application and all you want to do is write code. Code is all you want to do. And especially if you're more interested in just the inner workings of a computer, uh, not to say you don't get that in these other two degrees, especially IT, but if you're really uh, interested in the math of it and the nuts and bolts, just the concept and the, the theory, uh, that is where computer science makes the most sense. Now, that being said, um, you can't go wrong in these areas if you take any of these three degrees and you do well, especially if you can land yourself an internship, you will have a good career. That being said, none of them are particularly easy to get through. Um, I, of course, can't really speak to information systems beyond the master's degree. I would say so far it's been easier than the information technology bachelor's, but that's one class, so I can't really judge it. I do know it wouldn't be rated as an easy degree, but it, it wouldn't be put up there with engineering degrees maybe. You know, it's close. And informa information technology is sort of the same way. Informa information technology um, is it as hard as a computer engineering degree? I would say probably not. Is it as hard as computer science? Probably not quite as hard, but it's still pretty hard. Uh, computer science it almost uh, gets in the top tier of difficult degrees, although it gets beat out by certain degrees like computer engineering. And that is a degree that maybe we can talk about a different day. Okay guys, if you like this video, please give me a like. Subscribe to this channel if you want to see more stuff like this. And have a good night.